welcome we will start with very basic question and then go in detail first very basic question is what is the responsibility of regulatory affairs that is ra department of a pharmaceutical company the prime responsibility of a regulatory affairs department is obtaining approval for new pharmaceutical products additionally more important is to ensure that the approval is maintained for as long as the company wants to keep the product on the market second important question is what is the role of regulatory affairs in pharmaceutical r&d regulatory affairs professionals ensure that drugs meet all the legal requirements and manage interactions with regulatory agencies regulatory affairs experts study and know all the rules and regulations that govern the development testing and approval of drugs these rules are set by government agencies like fda in the united states which are the top 10 regulatory agencies in the pharmaceutical industry here top 10 regulatory agencies along with their country names are mentioned this includes fda ema tga envisa and many more you can pause this presentation and note down this information for your further use which activities are a regulates regulatory affair department interact worldwide federal state and local regulatory agencies to ensure that the following activities involving pharmaceutical and medical products are conducted in compliance with all applicable rules the activities includes licensing registration development manufacturing marketing and labeling This one is very frequently asked question question is what is orange book the orange book is a publication by the US FDA that lists approved drug products and their therapeutic equivalence evaluations for generic drug applications what is 180 day exclusivity in the pharmaceutical industry 180 day exclusivity is a period during which a generic drug manufacturer has exclusive rights to market a generic version of a brand name drugs typically granted for being the first to successfully challenge a patent or exclusivity on the reference drug what are dmf and their types in the pharmaceutical industry a dmf is drug master file is a submission to regulatory authorities that provides detailed information about the manufacturing processing and quality of an active pharmaceutical ingredient that is api or a drug product these are of mainly two types type 2 for drug substance that is apis and type 3 for excipients what is nda and nda filing in the pharmaceutical industry nda that is new drug application is a submission to the fda for approval to market a new pharmaceutical product typically for innovative drugs whereas in case of nda nda is abbreviated new drug application is a submission for approval to market a generic version of an already approved drug demonstrating bioequivalence what is basic difference between law and regulation in the pharmaceutical industry in the pharmaceutical industry laws are broad legal standards passed by legislative bodies while regulations are specific rules and requirements created by regulatory agencies to implement and enforce these laws this one is also very frequently asked question what is the difference between regulated market and non regulated market in the pharmaceutical industry a regulated market is one in which government agencies like fda impose or place strict regulations and oversight on drug manufacturing sales and distribution to ensure safety and efficacy whereas in case of non regulated market a non regulated market lacks such government oversight and may have fewer or less stringent regulations making it riskier in terms of product quality and safety what is technical pack a technical pack typically refers to a comprehensive document that contains detailed information about the manufacturing processes specifications and quality control methods used in the production of a pharmaceutical product it serves as a reference for regulatory compliance and quality assurance 
CTD and ACTD both are the very commonly used terminologies in regulatory affairs department. Question is what is CTD and ECTD? CTD is common technical document and ECTD is electronic common technical document. These are standardized formats for the submission of regulatory information and data to health authorities such as FDA and EMA. CTD is a paper based format while ECTD is an electronic version making the submission and review process more efficient and streamlined. Describe the drug master file that is DMF and its purpose. A DMF contains confidential information about the products manufacturing used to support company's regulatory submission. What is a certificate of pharmaceutical product that is CPP? It's a document issued by the regulatory agency certifying the quality and safety of a pharmaceutical product for export purpose. Explain the role of regulatory affairs specialist in the product development process. Answer is they ensure that all regulatory requirements are met during product development, clinical trials and marketing. What is an investigational new drug that is IND application? An IND application is submitted to the FDA to start clinical trials for a new drug. Investigational new drug that is IND application approval is compulsory or mandatory to start clinical trials for a new drug. What is a bioequivalent study and when is it required? Answer is it compares the generic drugs bioavailability to the innovator products and is required for the generic drug approval. Variation management or variation handling is the key responsibility for the regulatory affairs. The question is how do you handle the submission of a variation to an existing marketing authorization? Answer is variations are submitted to the regulatory agencies to request changes in an approved drug product. The process may involve data and documentation. Orphan drugs, this terminology is commonly used for the drugs that are used to treat the rare diseases. Question is, explain the orphan drug designation and its significance. Answer is, it grants special status to drug developed for rare diseases providing incentives such as extended market exclusivity. How does a change in manufacturing processes affect regulatory submission? Answer is, it may require updates to regulatory filings like an NDA or variations to ensure ongoing compliance. Describe the role of regulatory affairs in ensuring the compliance of labeling and packaging. Answer is, regulatory affairs professionals ensure that drug labels and packaging meet regulatory requirements and convey accurate information to consumers. How does the ICS that is International Conference on Harmonization impact global regulatory affairs? Answer is ICH creates global standards for pharmaceutical development and regulation, promoting harmonization worldwide. How does the Hatch-Waxman Act impact regulatory affairs? It governs the approval of generic drugs and the patent protection of innovative drugs. What is common technical document that is CTD? Answer is the CTD is a globally recognized format for submitting regulatory information for a drug approval. Next question what are post marketing surveillance and pharmacovigilance? Post marketing surveillance is the ongoing monitoring of a drug safety and efficacy whereas pharmacovigilance is the science of assessing and preventing adverse effects. Explain the concept of quality by design that is QBD in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Answer is QBD emphasizes or focuses on designing quality into products during processing only rather than inspecting quality in afterwards. What is the role of regulatory affairs in the approval of clinical trial protocols? Answer is regulatory affairs professionals work to ensure that clinical trial protocols Align with regulatory requirements and ethical standards. How do you address post approval changes for a marketed drug? Answer is changes must be documented and in some cases requires regulatory approval. 
they are typically classified as major or minor changes what are the key considerations for regulatory affairs professionals when managing a pharmaceutical products life cycle continuously monitoring changes ensuring regulatory compliance managing variations and adapting to evolving regulations are essential considerations last and very important question which are the top 10 global regulatory guidelines in the pharmaceutical industry you can refer below information of 10 global regulatory guidelines that are very commonly referred in regulatory affairs department keep watching farm grow subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry